Hello and welcome to the Little Netscape channel. Today we are going to um, set things up so we can type in Japanese. It's pretty straightforward. First you just go down to Start and type in Settings and click to open the Settings app and then click on the Time and Language uh, option and then on the left hand side click on Language again and under Preferred Languages you can see a little plus uh, with Add a Preferred Language. Just click on that and type in uh, the language. So we're going to put Japanese and click on Japanese and click Next. We'll just uh, leave everything as is, that's fine. And we're just going to leave the Set as My Display language off. And just click Install and just wait for it to uh, install. If you click on Options, you can see it installing the other few bits. Excellent. If we now go back, you can see it's got all the icons and it's done. So we're now ready to type in Japanese. So if we just open Word and we'll just type in a sort of simple uh, Japanese sentence. So first up in the right hand corner, you can see ENG obviously for English. If you left click on that, it gives you obviously the English and Japanese options. You just click on Japanese. And now you can see a little Romaji A has appeared. Obviously, if you start typing now, it will type in, in Roman letters. It's not really what we want, so we'll just left click on that and it becomes a hiragana A, which will now mean that when we type, it will start typing in hiragana. Once you've typed in your word, you can change the hiragana into kanji by hitting the spacebar. As you can see, the word is then underlined with a black line. Um, to sort of lock the word in, you just press enter. Now we want to type in katakana. To do this, we just go back to the right hand corner and uh, right click on the hiragana a and as you can see you have different uh, input options and you just click on the full width katakana option and then we can start typing in katakana this time the word is underlined with a dotted line same thing hit enter to sort of log this word and move on to type into the next word for the next word we want to change back into hiragana. Instead of uh, clicking with our mouse, we can use a shortcut, um, and that shortcut is Control Caps Lock to change back to the hiragana input. And then continue typing in hiragana. The same as before, if we hit the space bar, we can turn the hiragana into kanji. But this time it has chosen a different kanji to the one we wanted. So we simply hit spacebar again and we can use the spacebar, the arrows or the mouse to select the kanji we want. There are three really useful shortcuts that you'll want to use. The first one, control caps lock, will select hiragana. Alt caps lock will select katakana and the Alt Shift will let you toggle between English and Japanese. And that's it. You're now ready to start typing in Japanese. I hope you found this video useful and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Matane.